you like my new hair? I just got it done. We chopped three inches off. It is the shortest I've probably ever had my hair, ever. Um, it's never been above like this range right here. YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. We are talking about February favorites this month and I know this is a couple of days, well, by the time this is gonna go up, it's gonna be kind of late. But I figured that I'd sit down and do one anyway. I have not done one in a little while, so I figured it was time to sit down and talk about all the products that I have been loving over the past month. Let's just jump into my favorites. The first favorite I have to share with you guys is the Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. It does come in a beautiful packaging. It says Rainforest of the Sea right here, and it has this ombre purple lid, and you open it up. It has a little applicator. I just think that's the cutest thing. I got this off QVC before it even launched, and I think it's so lightweight. It feels like you don't have anything underneath your eyes. It does conceal your dark circles pretty well and it doesn't cake, it doesn't crease up. I just really love this. The next item, I have never tried anything from this brand at all, but I have read really great things online and I was so, so excited to get this in the mail and try it. So it is the Skin uh, Dimitri James Orchid Gel, and it is a Mattifying Day Treatment Seal AM. So this does kind of look like a face treatment, but is, is actually a primer, even though it doesn't say primer on it. If you read in the instructions, it says, use fingertips or, sponge, or makeup sponge, apply over skin treatments for a smooth and soft non-shine finish. May also be used over makeup for a perfect matte finish. So I actually use this underneath my foundation. I use it as a primer. So this is awesome because it's purple and it doesn't come out. I think it does have more of a whipped texture. It's really thick, but when you apply it over your face, it does not feel thick at all. Um, it goes on very easily and it does smooth out your skin great. So I am kind of in love with this and I am definitely going to buy more products from that brand because this was awesome. This was an awesome find. Next, I have this RCMA No Color Powder. And if you have heard of Kathleen Lights, then you have heard of this powder. This is an amazing setting powder. It truly doesn't have any color to it. And I actually kind of like the packaging. Is that weird? You just shake it up like this, and then you open up the cap, and then the powder sits on top of the, the lid. You just have to be careful because I do find that some of it kind of spills a little bit when you dip your brush into it, but it, there's three ounces in here. I mean, you're never gonna go through this. So yeah, I love this stuff. Alrighty. The next couple items I'm gonna talk about are brushes. The first one is this Wet n Wild Flat Kabuki brush. I am so pleasantly surprised by this because it was 99 cents at Walgreens. And I was like, I know that Revlon came out with um, with makeup brushes, but they were like $15. I was like, I'm not gonna spend that at the drugstore. So I put my faith in this guy and it is so great. It's dense, um, it, it applies product beautifully and it's really soft. I am just so, so happy with this. The only thing I would say is I wish that they had the name of the brush on the handle. Be a little easier to talk about the brush if it had a name. This second brush, I got about halfway through the month, but I'm still gonna count it. Um, this is the Zoeva 224 Luxie Defined Crease Brush. And it's kind of like, let me get the other one. So this is my Sigma E40, and this is the Zoeva Defined Crease Brush. It's a little smaller, and it's not nearly as fluffy. It kind of puts the product right where you apply it, whereas this guy is more just for blending things out and making it look smooth. This definitely, especially if you have hooded lids, is amazing. Um, it's really soft. I was a little skeptical because some of the reviews online said that they did not like the waiver brushes because they were like really, really hard and they, they hurt. 
but this is actually really soft and I'm just really, really happy with this. So next I have two bronzers that have really impressed me this last month. The first one is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 15L. It looks like this. It's got a little wave in it. Um, it is so pretty and it just gives off an amazing color payoff and it does look a little shimmery, but it does not transfer that way when you put it on to bronze your face. The second bronzer that has really impressed me this month is the but uh, the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, and I do have the light one. There are two shades, and I didn't even know that when I picked it up. I was like, I like this. Let's get that. I didn't even realize this had two shades, but it does. This is the light bronzer, and then I think it's just bronzer as the other shade. I love the way that this looks. I love the pattern that it is. I love the consistency. It is pretty pigmented, so even though this is light, it does show up pretty, pretty quickly on fair girls like myself. And it smells like a pina colada. Why would you resist a product that smells like pina colada? The next item I have is a Becca Mineral Blush in Songbird. And when I originally got this, I was a little scared because this looks in person it looks like an apricot. Um, I don't know why, but I just didn't think that was going to be very flattering on me. It's not coming off nearly as intense on camera than it is in person, but it's very, very pigmented. You have to be so careful with applying this because you don't want to have like a blush streak right here. Um, but if you apply a little bit and you blend it out, it is so beautiful. I am so pleasantly surprised by this color um, because I really thought this wasn't going to work for me, but especially because I am so fair, but yeah, I really like this. One other product that I have been loving is this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01, and Kathleen Lights talked about this not too long. Kathleen Lights talked about this not too long ago. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna use this on my wedding day because it is so natural of a highlight and you think matte, but it's not matte. The name is misleading. So if you swatch it, that is not matte and it's extremely pigmented. But what I love about this is you can put it on your face and it blends out so nicely, but you can see there's still a lot of um, light that's bouncing off of this product. But again, you can just kind of, um, you can blend it in and it just, it makes your whole face glow. And it is so beautiful. If I ever did a wedding tutorial, this is the highlight I would use because it's the most natural, yet I think it's the prettiest highlight I have, really. I think it's beautiful. So my, my last favorite of the month are, well, it, this is misleading because it's not really all these shadows. It's these five right down here. And these are the Anastasia Beverly Hills new eyeshadows. This is Henna, Chocolate Crumble, Fudge, Peacock, and Macaroon. I love them so much. I have their names memorized. <laughs> but yeah, I love all of these colors. They're so vibrant. They remind me of the Makeup Geek foiled ones, which are this row right here. The second to last row are extremely metallic. Like I wore this one the other day. I was so surprised by how much color payoff it, it gave off. So I'm just gonna swatch. So this is Henna. That is Chocolate Crumble. Oh, fudge is amazing. I love fudge. This is fudge. This green one is Peacock. And then this last one is called Macaroon. And it's just this beautiful purple. So as you can see, those are so, so pigmented. Can you see that? So as you can see, these are so metallic. 
I mean, are you kidding? I'm trying to fit my arm in this, but you see them right there. That's just for one little baby swatch and they come off so well. So those are all of my monthly favorites that I have been really enjoying and using to death. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Just comment down below and let me know any of your monthly favorites because maybe I can go see them and try them out. Um, that's kind of how I get to know what products are out there, what other products are really amazing that I just haven't found yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Please subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!